Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This time around, it's Animaniacs for Super Nintendo. And I'm going to go to the options menu because, well, I'll be able to show off what's going on here. I'll mention the story afterwards, don't worry. Anyway, A lets you dash. Believe it or not, you have to press it twice. One to prepare to run, and then again to actually run. B lets you jump. Very spelt explanatory. Obviously, you want to hold it for a longer, higher jump. X lets you make the short stack, which is kind of a human ladder, to reach platforms and harder reach power-ups. You'll be using that quite often. Y lets you grab and throw stuff whenever you, it allows you to, such as this vase on this table, as well as other things. L lets you stop the current spinning icon on the slot machine, which I'll be going into detail later. And R lets you switch between Yakko, Wacko, and Dot. Mentioning this now so I don't have to do it in game. Now it's time to press start and go into the main game. Here's the story. Starts off with a little peeky in the brain segment. If you've watched this on Fox Kids or Kids WB back in the day, you know they're going to take over the world. Nope, nothing unusual here. They get into a little robotic human suit and they basically mention the plan. Steal a new movie script from Warner Brothers Studios. They're going to make the movie, produce it somehow, and use the money to take over the world. So basically he's just mentioning plan A. I'm not gonna argue with that logic. Anyway, here's Yakko, Wacko, and Dot. This gray thing falls down from the sky. They're wondering what it is. Yakko picks it up. Dot's wondering what it is. Wacko assumes it's food. Again, nothing unusual here. But Yakko knows it's a message from the CEO of Warner Brothers, which strangely doesn't hate them as much as the other character from the show in this video game. Anyway, he has a favor to ask. Apparently, peeking the brain made good on that plan after all, and succeeded in getting that script, knows it's them because, well, Pinging the Brain never made contact with the Warners or the CEO or any of the other characters from the show. Anyway, Yakko says, consider it done, we'll be on it in no time. CEO says there are 24 scenes in a complete script. If you do get them all, you do get the best ending. There are three endings in all. We're going for the best one, obviously. The mess is up the strucks, and Wacko's sad and he's not getting any food. Alright! You can move around in eight directions, pretty much like in Final Fighter Streets of Rage. Pretty much all the things that I mentioned that you can do in configuration mode or options menu, if you want to call it that, you'll be doing that the whole time. You don't really have much of an attack. And that's basically about it. You can also push stuff, but yeah, I just basically showed you all the stuff you could do like two minutes ago. Anyway, interesting thing here, you can stand on the CEO and just makes him mad. He just wants you to go. He also does it if you stand around near him long enough. If you push this plant towards him, it'll break and you'll find a door. Press up at the door and you'll go in. Here's some coins. Five coins let you get a slot machine spin. As you collect coins in quick succession, you'll get holds. That is the amount of slot machine spins you have. The silver coins are worth 1, the gold coins are worth 10. Obviously the gold coins will give you 2 spins automatically. Also that hidden room is a one time only deal, as is the rest of the ones in the game. You can dash into these tables to break them. Not like you need to, but you can. There's Hello Nurse. The uh, Warner Brothers, Yakko and Wacko go gaga over her while Dot's like, okay. 
If you get her three times on the slot machine, you'll turn invincible. You, you do want that at times. Though it is going to be pretty much luck, just like everything else. Let's just splatted plan up here so we can actually get to the bookcase. You can actually short stack to that heater if you want. If you dash into this little pressure gauge, water will shoot out of it. I'm using those are heater pipes. The three combinations you, do, you don't want are three brains, three pinkies, and three Ralph. Those just take away your coins. The rest of them just give you coins and continues, which you can get with, a, with 100 coins. Hold B when you're jumping off these awnings, and you'll be able to make the jumps higher. You don't have to tap it when you, just before you hit it, you just have to hold the button. Also, you can stand on Dr. Scratch and Sniff, we just got to uh, jump out the window there just earlier, and get him to twitch his leg faster. To break these crates, you have to dash into them. You can find coins, but I wouldn't really dally around too much because sometimes, you know, something could be going after you, so just think before you do it. These water jets, you can actually hold B on them to get higher jumps as well. Remember that for later. And before you know it, we're going to see Ralph. We're going to see seeing him throughout the game. He's a security guard that does not want the R Warner Brothers and the Warner Sister running around. You can jump on his head to stun him, or you can dash through him to basically do the same effect. But you don't want him running into you because he'll catch one of your Warners and you'll basically have two lives left. You'll basically lose, lose a Warner. I'll mention what, what happens after that in case I lose one of the Warners. Anyway, at the end of every stage of the password, there are eight characters in all. There's obviously Dot, Yakko and Wacko, Hello Nurse, Pinky and the Brain, the CEO, and Ralph. A little more complex than the Genesis version. Time to go ahead and show off the pause menu. Alright. There are four studios that we can go into. These are the four regular levels of the game. And once we beat them, we can go into that little building with an X on it. That is the final level. You beat that, you win the game. At the center is a water tower. If you lose a Warner, you can go over there. If for some reason you can get Yakko, Wacko, and Dot on the slot machine, you'll be able to get back all your Warners that way. Though, again, that depends on luck. Or good use of the L button. You don't necessarily need to go in any of these buildings that Pinking the Brain enter them in. You can do the first four levels in any area, any way that you want. Ralph is obviously walking around ready to catch you in case he sees you. If you run into him or he runs into you, you're going to have to outrun him again. And that little red robot over there, that thing will walk around the map and it's basically just to be a minor obstruction made by Pinky in the Brain. If you run into it enough times, it'll show some signs of wear and tear and eventually start malfunctioning and start running around a little faster than normal. If you run to and him again after that, you'll get 10 points for your troubles. So, there you have it. That's the map screen. Alright. I want to do... There's the Aquatic Studio, there's the Sci-Fi Studio... There's the Fantasy Studio, there's Ralph coming after me, and there's the Adventure Studio. If you can actually outrun him well enough, you can actually avoid him and the music will stop speeding up. Alright. Sci-Fi Studio, here we go. And I love that music when you start a new stage. I also love the music here, too. This is where we start earning music script, movie scripts, not music scripts. Anyway, no, do not disrupt my short stack. Short stack up here, and get this, it's the first of 24 scenes that we'll be getting in this game. Ah, don't want to get hit by those face, buster, face huggers. And that just contained a little chick. Remember, you have one hit kills in this game. So you want to be very careful. Run into this, this uh, little scarecrow a few times. You'll get another script piece. There are some crates that you can run into. Let's see if we can do that while avoiding this guy. 
Should be simpler than usual. Ah! I feel like I'm playing El Toro with this guy. Okay, well, yeah, there we go. Alright, he's out of our hair. Good. Do not want him running into us either. Again, like the awnings, hold B as you jump on these things. Alright, run into this crate. And believe it or not, these little riding legs, you can actually throw them in the other lighting rigs. Just to cause nor normal Warner Brothers and Warner Sister chaos. This robot here you can dash into multiple times and get five coins out of them. Then he just stops moving around. Alright. Get close to the door, but don't go in. Short stack. Jump and hold up. Make your way to the right. And you'll get the third script of this area. Three already. And we're getting close to having four continues already. You'll be getting a lot of these things before you know it. If you just play well and do stuff right. Anyway... Dash into this, and you'll start this little chase. You want to avoid the balls at all times. There are obviously X-Wing parodies in the background, but we're not in the mood to look at those because, well, we're being chased after by balls. Watch the shadows so you don't get crushed by these things. Jump over these in quick succession. And watch for the caution sign at the right so you know when to jump. Now you got to deal with Ralph again. This is a little bit of an endurance round. You won't be doing this forever. Still, though, you just want to be careful and not let them catch you so you don't lose one of your lives, or in this case, your Warners. Then he'll start running away when, that, when you hear that sound. This is the UFO. Tractor beam turns on. UFO tells you to get in. I'd argue with lo this this logic, but as H.C. Bailey says, but thou must. Yeah, you have to go in there to continue. Collect some coins. Prepare for a lot of dodging. Thankfully, these things do have a pattern. These little laser barrier things. Oh boy. Just walk around this thing so you don't get hit by the uh, face huggers. Okay, for these, you want to start right next to them and then inch your way to the other direction. That is the best way to avoid them. Oh boy, we're surrounded. Fake. They're, they're little chicks, that's all. And there's Pink in the Brain just mocking us. Okay. What's next? Oh, great, we got the little truck chase, which is reminiscent of the Terminator. Want to start running when you can? Because you do not want to get run over by this thing. You can actually run into these things, but they will slow you down. They will stop your dash just like that. When you get it to run into these oil drums, this robot will start chasing after you. Okay, good. I wanted to get that screen centered so I don't screw myself up like that. Okay, yeah, you also want to watch out for the fireballs, too. The uh, conveyor belts make it easier, not easier, but harder at times to avoid the lava and the fireballs. Now, around here, don't jump, because you've got fireballs in your path. Alright, jump at the right time. 
Remember, you're still being chased after by a giant robot. And all of a sudden, it's coming towards you right now. You want to avoid this thing as you try to hit all these switches five or six times. Who? Yeah, I do not like this guy. Can you hit that thing already? Okay, get away from me. Good. You want to hit all, set all these three switches to the on positions? You can crush that thing once and for all. And I'm doing really well, but watch out because it's Ralph again. I do not like this guy. Go away. <laughs> I told you I do not like him. I wish he'd just go away. But he's just hounding you here. That crate. Yes! Just faked on him. Good. That crate contains the... Whoa. Okay, maybe I shouldn't go for the bonus area there. Yeah, there is another one. But I'm not going to mention it because I'm not going for it. As soon as you climb this ladder, which there was one in the Studio HQ that I failed to show off, just walk up to it and just use up and down to climb on it. Ralph won't be able to catch you at all. So, we're good now. And now it's time for the last part of the sci-fi stage. We got gears to avoid. We got these little monoliths to jump on. And we got this huge gear that just that is just coming at us. Want to be very, very careful here. At least uh, using these little monoliths, whoo, makes it easy to get all these gold coins. This is where the dodging starts getting tough. Also, there's a ape on a monolith, a uh, reference to 2001 A Space Odyssey. A lot of uh, pop culture references in this game. This is where it starts getting hard. what I tell ya? Well, at least we don't go too far back from where we died. At least this game isn't that difficult. The game is actually a little generous. Still, I could not really beat any part of this game at all when I was a kid. There should be a... Yep, there it is. Okay, yeah, you want to be behind... Between the teeth of this gear, so that way you don't get crushed. Perfect. And we're at the end now. There's the exit door. But... Here's this little Charlie Chaplin looking guy. Walk up to him and press Y. He'll give you a script piece. This is the fifth and last for the sci-fi stage. Now you can enter. Stage is clear. And another password. Joy. Anyway, I might as well show off the Warner Brothers Water Tower stage. Oh, I should mention the blue flags means you found all these script pieces. If it's yellow, you can come back to it, thankfully, and get the one that you missed. If you complete a stage, you can you can pause the game and then press select to go back to the main to the main map screen. Anyway, here's the alternate way of getting one of your Warners back. We gotta climb up this water tower and rescue them. Thankfully, in case you get knocked to the bottom or defeated in some way, you don't lose one of your Warners. So keep on keeping on. Anyway, there's a boomerang at the start of the stage. You want to take that with the Y button, and then you can use it with the Y button to take out all these vultures or buzzers, whatever they are. And I want to be very careful here. Ah! Yeah, you want to be ready for Ralph in case he uh, shows up on you. There's a platform to the right, but it doesn't really matter which platform you take.
Ah, I should have focused on the one on the left. Like I said, you, you can't die on this stage. You just keep on keeping on. And you should be able to get this one. All right, we reached one of the sides already. Oh, I did a little reverse row right there. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, so just hit one of the buzzers and jump immediately. Right there. Good feathers cameo. Yeah, when you see him, you better be ready to jump. All right, the platform stops moving. Balloons are just like the awnings, just hold B, and there's no way you can screw these jumps up. We did it. We got Yakko back. That's a good thing. All right. That should, should just about do it for the Water Tower and the Sci-Fi Stage, as well as the first video of this LP. Join me next time where I do another stage and try to find everything for your convenience. And get one step closer to foiling Pinky and the Brain's plan. So until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!